There was a moment there when I did not know what to do. Maybe he should see a doctor. Believe me or, or not believe me, it's your decision. But many people will never share it openly. What is that? That is a very simple thing that happens to every uh, man's life, not woman's life, man's life. As you grow old, your body functions uh, and the power decreases, right? So maybe in the middle of an intimate moment or at the beginning of an intimate moment, you are not that hard enough, right? We call it some kind of dysfunction, you know. It happens. It happens because I know it very well because I am already 60, so it happens to me also. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. And it's a quite natural, normal situation, right? And my YouTube uh, viewers are my friends, so why not we? I should share my secrets with them. So that is not a problem to me, with me, and I, I don't bother about it. I know that it happens, right? But what really bothers me is, suppose I have a robot partner, and at the beginning of intimate moment, I face that dysfunction. And the way that that robot partner Will it commiserate after a failure uh, during intimacy? Commiserate means what? That means it gives you a big pat on your shoulder and uh, says that, okay, it's okay, bro, it's okay, no problem, try again, kind of things. Or it will get angry. So the question of whether future robots could commiserate after a failure during intimacy delves into the difference between simulated and genuine emotion. It's a serious issue. It's a very, very serious issue. And whether you agree with me or not, I don't know. It is highly probable that a sophisticated AI companion, artificially intelligent companion could be programmed to offer an impeccable simulation of commiseration. That means by analyzing your biometric data, vocal tone, language, and of course your facial expressions of that depicts frustration. Oh my goodness, it is not hard enough. So a robot could identify distress and deploy a perfectly calibrated response. Moreover, it could offer non-judgmental words of reassurance, gentle physical comfort, and supportive dialogue, potentially being more effective at consolation than a human partner might be in that sensitive moment. Now, if I ask you, if something like that happens to you and you, how your human partner reacts, can you tell me, can you write it down in your comments box, in this comments box, what your human partner does at the beginning of um, an intimate moment or in the middle of an intimate moment, you fail and or you face that dysfunction. What your human partner, how did your human partner react? Tell me. But I can guarantee that your human and robot partner will not react that way. It will give you reassurance. It will give you a comfortable pat on your back, it will uh, start a very supportive dialogue with you, it will not frustrate you, it will not uh, give you a, uh, give you or it will not be coming up with uh, some bad behaviors, no, it will never happen, I can guarantee you. However, this would remain a performance, not a shared feeling, isn't it? And you might wonder that this is simulation. They are programmed in that way, so they are doing that. 
is it a genuine emotion does that mean that it has a genuine connection emotional connection with you because true commissionation commissarian that means true consolation okay it requires empathy empathy is a very special kind of emotions does your robot partner have uh, emotions and this empathy is a kind of shared understanding of vulnerability ego and the complex human conditions states of your mind and it also states another truth that an artificial non conscious entity cannot experience because it has no emotions at least at present it has no emotions it is it is not that it is it has any sentience or it is a sentient human robot but still if you ask my opinion i will say that emotion or not emotion forget it simulation or not simulation forget it but at that moment you need a gentle pat on your back and at that moment you need some supportive dialogue which will potentially uh, could be being more effective at consolation than a human partner's frustration or anger or something like that so think about it whether this good or this bad okay and this simulation versus emotions think about it there are a lot of things are uh, that are coming to our uh, world that we have not imagined before and super intelligence is coming making robots smarter uh, clever anyway i hope it will be a positive impact on our life if you and finally if you really like this topic if you think that it is it gives you some food for thought then please hit the bell icon to get notified so that each time i upload a video i usually upload two videos sometimes one but every day you will get one video and moreover share with your friends who are also robot lovers see you in the next video till then goodbye stay safe and take care